Congresswoman, none of this matters unless there's a nuclear war, which you voted to send arms and weapons to Ukraine. Tulsi Gabbard, she's left the Democratic Party because there are only war hawks. Okay? You originally voted, you ran as an outsider, yet you've been voting to start this war in Ukraine. You're voting to start a third nuclear war with Russia and China. Why are you playing with the lives of American citizens? You're playing with our... The Robozoid here with yet another video. This one's a lot of fun, actually, because here we actually get to rip into A-hole C a little bit more. Yeah, I call her A-hole C because, quite frankly, she's a little A-hole. Yeah, well, I call her that for two reasons. She's an A-hole and her politics suck. <clears throat> yeah, one of those messages, you'll have to disregard that. Uh, so, basically, here's how it went. Watch. A-hole in the A-hole C host town hall in the Bronx. And the camera turns and exposes who was there to see her. By the way, you're going to love that when we zoom in because uh, there's not many people there. But nevertheless, I hope you, I hope you enjoy this uh, heckling of A-hole C. <laughs> Watch and learn something. actually kind of like the idea that I can hear this guy yelling a lot more than I can hear a-hole C. And that's fine with me. I don't want to hear what this little beaner brains one has to say. You're the liar here. Nobody has held you accountable. That's what's happening. And it is time for you to stand up and realize that what you've been saying has been lies. Let your conscience come through for once. Now, the guy who was yelling at A-Hole C did bring up Tulsi Gabbard, who we talked about on yesterday's YouTube video. And, well, you know, I said things like, big deal, she's leaving the Democrat Party. What does that mean to me? And, yeah, what does that mean to anybody? But at least she stuck to her guns. She was a little more honest with uh, and truthful with, with her policies, as opposed to A-Hole C, who was... Never known the word honesty a day in her bartending life. That, that's about as bad. Like I said, we will be zooming in on the attendance record, and there's practically nobody there. Nope, no asses to fill seats here. <laughs> this is astounding. And yeah, I know, we're looking at it on an Instagram, but uh, that's the only piece of footage that I could find. But it is nevertheless just a lot of fun to see that practically nobody showed up to this town hall meeting. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Let, let's just pause on this on this scene for just a few minutes. I'm sorry I don't have anything here to play taps with. It's funny. Okay, that's enough of that. I mean, all you need to do is just take a look at the people that are there who did show up. It's, it is like a Biden rally because, quite frankly, everyone just looks so bored. Everyone just like, why am I here? What am I doing here? 
And again, that's exactly what Biden would probably be saying. Uh, uh, why am I here? What am I doing here? <laughs> it would probably be the same sentiment no matter what, or no matter who was saying it. And do you remember this shameless display of stupidity? Right, the tax the rich dress that, quite frankly, looks like a Chick-fil-A bag. Oh, before we go, I have to show you this, if only to add insult to injury here. Well, the one guy who is standing up is holding up a sign that says, Hash Brown, oust a whole C, and, and vote in Tina Forte. I don't know who she is, but she's got to be a lot more promising than a whole C. <laughs> I mean, this is just fun stuff to watch. <laughs> it's bad enough you can't get enough people to show up uh, at your stupid town hall meeting. But it's, it adds insult to injury when the one guy who is standing up holds up a sign saying, get rid of her. She's horrible. She's done nothing for our district. <laughs> These are her very constituents, my friends. And quite frankly, they've had enough of her. And I can't say that I blame them. Anyway, million laughs. I'm glad you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video if you didn't. Shame on you, a pox on you if you didn't, because this was an absolute delight to watch. So, I'll be seeing you next time. Well, and of course, it's going to be a while because I'm still working on my Nosferatu review. Well, this has been the Robozoid saying, remember folks, wokeness is weakness.